So have you ever wondered what it's like for anxiety recovery? You know, I always make these videos about how to recover. You're probably wondering, okay, what is it like when you fully recover? These physical symptoms, do they remain? These scary intrusive thoughts, do they stay? Do you experience these derealization, depersonalization? Do you struggle with these intense emotions all the time? Well, I wanna to talk to you about how anxiety recovery looks like. As somebody who recovered years ago, I really wanna show you and demystify a lot of these things so that you don't have to worry about these what if situations. How does recovery look like? I will tell you exactly how recovery looked like, not just with me, but people that I've helped fully overcome. I've been with them every step of the way. I see the whole recovery journey and I see them after recovery once they're living their life. So I wanna demystify it, really show you how recovery looks like so that you can get there as well. So pay attention. So my whole anxiety cycle started one day at work when I experienced a panic attack. And when I had my first panic attack, I did not know what it was. I actually genuinely thought I was gonna die. And when I experienced that panic attack, I learned something very scary, which was no matter what I do, this will always be able to follow me no matter what I do. You can't really run away from this. So I kind of always had this fear of getting another panic attack. Well, because I had this fear, about two weeks later, I had another full-blown panic attack and this one lasted for hours. And that is really when my anxiety struggles began. I started experiencing really terrible physical symptoms. I ended up having these really scary thoughts that convinced me that there was something seriously wrong or something seriously wrong was about to happen. I started having these emotions. I started feeling um, just not myself. And I also started experiencing what we call derealization, depersonalization over time. And no matter what I did, no matter which doctor I went to, no matter who I spoke with, it, it seemed like I was kind of neglected. You know, doctors would look at me, they would take some um, lab tests, they would look at me and they say, look, you're perfectly healthy. I don't really know why you're experiencing this. And then I remember I'd go to therapists and they would say, okay, well, maybe it's some childhood trauma. You know, maybe it's something that you're, you know, you had as a, as a kid. And, and I remember thinking like, why does my past matter? I'm just trying to get out of this. And, and I, you know, I really never had a bad upbringing, you know? So I would think, okay, maybe am I like repressing myself? And anyways, this happened for so long that I actually ended up becoming agoraphobic, meaning I wasn't able to leave my house over time because I was so scared of the anxiety. I was so afraid of having a panic attack that I kept avoiding, avoiding, avoiding until I couldn't even leave my house. Now, if you really wanna know a little bit more about my story, um, I'll put a link below for, um, this was essentially an hour long conversation about my anxiety, how I was able to overcome it. I did this with a Wellness Plus podcast. They interviewed me and uh, it goes more into an hour depth. So I don't wanna go too much in the video, but if you're really interested, check out that podcast. You can listen to it and it'll really show you my journey. And I'm sure if you're struggling with this, you'll probably find elements where you can actually relate as well. So this started my anxiety struggles where I was essentially Google searching every day. I was on these forums every single day. I was trying to figure out what is it? What is that missing piece that I, I just don't understand? Like, is there something that I just don't know? I started going to alternative medical routes. You know, I started taking supplements. I started doing acupuncture. I started doing breathing techniques, chiropractor. I went through all these routes. I convinced myself I had all these things, leaky gut syndrome, candida out beacons. I tried doing all these things. And no matter what I did, I'd maybe feel better for like half a day. And then all of a sudden the anxiety would come back. And I was convinced that this was my life and that I couldn't get out. And that no matter what I did, I couldn't get out of this. And I had hit rock bottom and I felt like no matter what happened, I just couldn't recover. And it was absolutely one of the most terrifying experiences. It was almost traumatic for me. And I even thought to myself, I'm like, first of all, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get out. And even if I do, how does somebody recover from something like this? How does somebody recover from something so traumatic? And it's been years since I've recovered. And the truth is, is that not only did I have all these physical symptoms go away, all of them, I had every single one in the book. I've had more than most people I've ever met and I've helped a lot of people recover and I talked to a lot of people that struggle and I would still, on a spectrum, put myself in the worst case scenario. Now, obviously, 
All of us, when we're struggling with anxiety, we all think we're the worst case scenario. And we all think we're, we're unique. And here's the interesting thing. The fact that you think you're unique is literally the most ununique thing about you. Everybody that struggles with anxiety, whether it's just for a few months, whether it's for a few years, always feel, I'm not gonna be able to get out. It's not gonna be me. But I'll tell you right now, the fact that you think you're unique is the most ununique thing about you. To be quite honest with you, it'd be a little weird if you didn't think you were unique. It would be kind of weird where you don't feel like you know anybody else who's struggling through this. You keep going to medical um, practitioners and they, they don't know what's happening or they try to do their own techniques and it doesn't work. It's really easy to think that you're the one, that you can't get out, that you may have some unknown disease that no one else knows about. And that's simply not true. That's just how anxiety works. And my recovery happened when I hit rock bottom, when I felt like no matter what I did, this didn't go away. And so if you really wanna know how to focus on overcoming, how to really get out of this once and for all, the truth is, is that you actually don't need anything. You just need to understand anxiety and focus on the solution. I put a link down below. The link down below shows you step by step how to get out. There's no secret. Everything I did to fully overcome was in this. Now it's simple but it's not easy. And recovery is an up and down process. It's normally three steps forward, two steps back. So it's really easy to think that just because you try this, that it's not gonna work. This isn't something you try. This is something you stick with and this is how you fully get out. Everybody gets out this way. Everyone gets out this way. And the last thing I wanna say is, I know how unique you feel. I know how you feel like you cannot get out of this. I hear it all the time. I'm telling you, when you focus on the right steps, people get out. People get out, why not you? Why not you? Everybody else can get out. What makes you so unique? And so I really want you to evaluate that, really take a look at it, really focus on why is it that you haven't been able to recover. Oftentimes, it's, all it is is that people just haven't focused on the right steps. Every time I meet somebody who says they're unique, I look into their story and I see exactly where they're going wrong and I say, well, yeah, obviously you're not recovering, you're not doing this, this, and this. And so if you just focused on a few things, recovery would happen. It's not because you're unique. It's not because you're broken. It's not because you're abnormal. It's just because you haven't focused on the right steps. If you focus on the right steps, recovery is inevitable. If you really wanna know more, if you really wanna focus more on the steps, if you wanna see real life people that are recovering, if you wanna be part of a community of people that are serious about overcoming, I'll put a link down below. This is a link to my private Facebook group. In this group, I'm posting even more exclusive content that I'm not posting on any other social media platform. And I'm showing people not only who have recovered, but I'm, I'm giving guidance and I'm trying to show people step by step how to fully overcome. If that's you, hit the link down below. It's gonna ask you three questions. It's very important that you answer these three questions to the best of your ability. We want people in the group, but we're also trying to maintain the integrity of the group. We don't want this to be a coping group where people are just talking about quick fixes, tips and tricks. This is about sustained, lasting change. We want people to overcome this. We want this to be a chapter closed. We don't want this anxiety to be something they constantly struggle with or the fact that they get out of anxiety and then a couple of years later they fall back in. We don't want that. We want people to fully get out, show them step by step how to get out so that they never fall back in. If that's you, hit the link down below and I'll see you guys inside.